Hello everyone, this is Harsha. Welcome to my channel Crypto English. So hi guys, in today's video we are going to talk about Iron Fish KYC process. So in this video I will cover how you can create your public address in case if you have VPS and in case if you don't have VPS also how you can get a public address by installing the wallet in your personal computer. So everything will be covered in this video. Watch this video till then. Before starting the video, if you are here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, click the like button. If you have any doubts or clarification, leave them in the comment section below. And this video like that is 500 likes, so definitely click the like button right away. So let's begin the video, guys. So first thing, before talking about Iron Fish, I recently announced a campaign in my Twitter channel. So if you're still not following my Twitter, do follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description below for this campaign. This is in collaboration with DYDX. There are a total rewards of value of $900. So there will be one reward for uh, all you have to do is couple of activities and submit this crew task. So users with maximum points will be entering a raffle for winning a one hedge NFT. So one hedge NFT right now hedge NFT is around 0.4 Ethereum and there will be another two rewards for the users uh, with DYDX essential bundle which is around $100. So everything will be uh, 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 given for free of course there is no investment so all you need to do is couple of activities you need to follow the dvdx project and me and couple of other tasks so do check out this campaign and now let's jump back to the iron fish demo so now recently iron fish has announced that they are going to postpone or extend the uh, main net to april 20th previously it was scheduled for march 15 but it was changed now the KYC deadline has been extended to April 14 and airdrop uh, recipients will receive the airdrop on April 21st. So now to complete the KYC process you need to have a public address. So in case if you already have a VPS I will show you how you can do it on VPS to install the Ironfish wallet freshly and get your public address. In case if you already uh, expired your public uh, your VPS I will show you how you can install it in your personal computer. So let's begin with the VPS process. All you need to do is you need to open Putty software and log into your VPS and run these codes one by one. So let's install the uh, wallet by using the first command from Node Guru. Just copy it, right click and enter. It will not install Node. It uh, it will only install the wallet. So it will take five to ten minutes time and your wallet will be installed. So once the wallet is installed, let's create the wallet. So you can just uh, use this option and create new wallet address. Just enter that and click enter. After that, you will get a public address here. So just copy this public address and this address will be used to fill the KYC form. Here you will be entering your public address. So that is a public address. So now along with the public address, you need to back up the key, uh, private keys and mnemonic phases also. So in case you want to restore the wallet in future, you need that. So just copy this another command, paste it here and click on enter. Now you will get a big script with that uh, private key so that you just copy and paste it somewhere. And then you can export the mnemonic phases also of the specific wallet and that also you save it somewhere. So now you have all the public address, private address and mnemonic phases. So now you got the public key. Now in case if you don't have any VPS, so if you already have, uh, if in case if you have a Shadium VPS, all, uh, Shadium node running VPS also, you can try this on that same VPS. But in case if you don't have any VPS, then another option is you can install this uh, Ironfish uh, wallet in your personal computer in the Ubuntu virtual machine. So I'll show the demo how you can install that in your personal computer. So in, in your windows, just search for store, you'll get Microsoft store, just select that. It will load up and then it will take some time in the, in the Microsoft store you just need to search for Ubuntu. So just type Ubuntu and you will get multiple options in that you have to select Ubuntu 22.04. So then just select that and click on get. So once you click on get it will ask uh, sign up so you can just click on no thanks and then you can continue. So on the top you will get an install option just click that install sometimes it will ask you for a Microsoft login in case if you have you can log in or you can cancel that even if you cancel the installation will begin. So now installation will uh, take some time 5 to 10 minutes uh, it, the file size is around 600 MB. So now you got the Ubuntu uh, installed now just click on launch. So once you click on launch Ubuntu installation will begin virtual machine installation will happen on your windows. Now most important thing is in case if you are getting any error related to virtualization you need to restart your system go to your system by your settings and ensure this virtualization technology is enabled. So by default in old computers it will be disabled. So you just need to go to BIOS settings. In each computer it will be a different menu option for going to BIOS menu. You need to restart and continuously press either F8, F12 or escape or delete. Then just select this virtualization technology and then if it is disabled just change it to enable and click enter. So once it is selected as enable go to exit option on the BIOS and click on save and exit. 
so once that is done you restart the system and in the set you search for ubuntu and click start so now this will complete the installation process so once it is installed it will ask you to enter the unix uh, username so just enter some username i am creating the username as crypto telugu and just click on enter so now you get an option called uh, create a password new password you can give any password just uh, to make it simple you keep it 1 2 3 4 5 6 and retype password you need to enter the same password and click on confirm and now your ubuntu is installed and user is created so now we got into the terminal so now we have successfully installed the ubuntu on our personal computer in windows now you can run the same commands which i have shown previously one by one so just copy the first command paste it here using right click and click on enter then i node guru will uh, now will ask a password so just enter the password so once you enter the password it will install your uh, uh, wallet uh, ironfish wallet in this and after some time wallet will be installed and now you can run the commands one by one which related to create wallet and backup wallet so just enter the create wallet command and now you will get a public address just copy that public address and save it in the notepad which will be used uh, for the uh, uh, kyc process just paste it there and then just backup your uh, private key so just copy this second command for export wallet and uh, paste it in the uh, terminal and just click on enter so once you do that you'll get a private key just back it up somewhere and then go to the fifth command just copy that and paste it and get your mnemonic phrases so now we got all the details public key and private key of a wallet now we are good to go and do the kyc so now log into the ironfish dashboard and click on your profile and you'll get to this screen here you have a option to complete kyc form so just click on that you have to enter your public address here two times and just click on tick mark and confirm so once you do that you are starting the kyc process so once you do that just click on next in the next screen you need to complete the kyc process by submitting your id and document and then here you can click the start button just click on start select your country and select your id card and once that is done very important thing is in case if you are uploading any documents in don't click on take photo just select upload file so it will be better so project has recommended to upload the file rather than taking the photo so just select upload and attach the front and back of the document and once the kyc process is submitted it will verify some verify and within 2 minutes my kyc is approved so it is very simple so you can also complete the process now just go back to the dashboard you can see kyc is approved i can just click on this uh, uh, option here testnet rewards tab and i can even update my wallet address so here there is a option for edit if you click on edit it will show you option to uh, enter a new wallet address and you can even update your wallet address in this portal so i'm not sure till how long this edit option will be available but right now it is available so you can edit that and enter your wallet address there so now that's all after that you are all good to go and you need to scroll down and you can see your face three points and how many rewards you are getting so your rewards will be announced before the airdrop and airdrop will be sent to the wallet address you are given on april 21st so now that's all guys that's all about today's video if you like this video click the like button if you are new to this channel subscribe to the channel if you have any doubts or clarification leave them in the comment section below so that's all guys thanks for watching jai hind